Hi, I'm Jonathan Oxer, and this is walk time blog number 11, except that it's not really a walk time blog because this time I'm just standing around in my garage. What I've just done is fit a monitor up in the top of this cupboard. Hang on, I should back up a little bit and let you see the bigger picture. In the garage there is a cupboard in the side wall, which is basically on the centre line of the house, which is dedicated to electrical stuff and home automation. So I'll show you what I've got in here so far. Up the top is a monitor which will display status of various output channels and things like that for the automation system and sensors. In the middle is a switchboard which I'll get back to in just a second. Down the bottom is a very messy stack of gear which is all going to be neatened up. You can see a big bundle of grey cable down in here. This is all Cat6 cable running around to the office area and various other things. There is the triple E box sitting on top which is acting as the gateway for the automation system. You can see a little switch here, and another switch which is not actually plugged in right now. A couple of termination um, points for the Ethernet. So I've got CAT6 for connection to PCs and things. There's CAT5E underneath which goes to automation devices around the place. And somewhere hanging around down there, you can barely see it. Underneath is a power over Ethernet injector which is running power through the network to various devices. Right down the bottom is the UPS, the infamous one that got flooded and is still going and hasn't even um, been offline since that time, and some various other cables, and of course a PC sitting there doing a few things at the moment. So, inside the switchboard, this is a new switchboard which is, uh, it's not the main switchboard for the house where the main feed comes in, that's out the front of the house where the meters are. This is one of two sub switchboards. So I'll remove the cover and we'll have a look at what's inside. And it's a very, very neat job. This was done by my electrician who did a fantastic job. The way this is cabled up, all of the output channels go directly to um, the particular loads that they are switching. So in a typical scenario, if you're wiring up lights, what you do is you have power going to the light switch on the wall. From the switch it then goes to the light itself. In this case we've done something a little bit different. Every light fitting is wired all the way back on its own um, separate cable into this point here, which is why there is such a big bundle of cables. So you can see all of these cables coming in. Those are from lights down this particular end of the house and you can see some wire, some notes. That's Bath 1 for example um, and Master. So these are the different lighting circuits. They then come down to these DIN rail mounted relays and um, you can see we're switching both active and neutral on each of those. Um, they all have common earths obviously on that big earth bar. And because we're switching both active and neutral, there's a neutral bar over on the side there but it's hardly being used. So what we've got is a whole bunch of relays which control the individual loads. And I haven't uh, fully hooked up the control side of the relays but what you can see is that some of them have cable coming down to this little Tupperware container and inside that is a Freetronics Ether 10 which is connected to the network, it's actually powered by power over Ethernet. Sitting on top of that is a prototyping shield which has got a bunch of transistors on it and they're all set as low side drivers uh, for the relays. So coming off power over Ethernet is about 10 volts or so and the 10 volt feed is going into the voltage regulator on the Ether 10 and it is also being fed unregulated to the relays. Um, so they're 12 volt relays running off about 10 volts and they're quite happy and um, the transistors are switched, they're basically low side drive um, switches on the relays. And um, so that's coming together very nicely, I think it's all cabled quite neatly, apart from the little hack job at the moment to control the relays. But um, I've designed a shield specifically for this application and that's going to have a whole bunch of output channels that will drive the relays and it will all be cabled very neatly. Of course I also need to make all of this neat, so I'm going to put a little um, rack mount down the bottom here. All of that's going to be recabled. So it's coming together. So this is one of a couple of sub switchboards in the house. There's another one down the other end. Uh, because we've got so many channels being driven, it just wasn't practical to run all the cable into one location. It made sense to split it between several sub switchboards. So um, maybe in a future app I'll give you some more updates of different things we're doing. See ya.